Welcome to Expat American. I am the Expat American. I'm standing in the middle of a Russian forest in the middle of nowhere on a weekend early in the morning. They've taken me hunting with my Russian baby boy, Max. Max, скажите, hello, привет. Тебе не нравится? Zing, zing. Хорошо, я закончил, потом я закончил это. Хорошо? Sorry about that. What are we hunting? We're hunting for mushrooms. Are they manna from heaven or are they poison? Find out about this interesting seasonal custom right now. His first ever Russian mushroom picked at age five. Oh god. So I believe the holes underneath means bugs have eaten it. Yeah. Ura! Tiny lizard. Russia has lizards. Oh, oh go. Man time. Water pump underground. <laughs> Don't fall in, Kristoff. They did tell us. It's possible we could run into bears. Kristoff found Bobby Yaga. I'd cry. <laughs> Kato Bobby Yaga. Oh, Boja. <laughs> Bobby Yaga, Kosivaya. That's will break and you'll fall on the ground. <laughs> Not that big. I just found moose droppings and I'm pulling bugs out of my hair that are like the size of ants and they're saying those are moose ticks. Um, so hopefully they are not actual ticks like in the US. I didn't think I would fit. <laughs> I'm getting scared. Maybe Russia is a scary place. <laughs> we'll see. We have just arrived by car to a dacha outside of the city of Moscow and looks like they have some sort of tree house right there and a pretty good sized yard. A dacha is a country house where are you guys can't see that where you uh, grow vegetables uh, historically but a lot of people don't grow vegetables now um, but check out the house. Does this look like a country home in your country? Um, and there you've got lights they've put in the yard. Very nice. And I don't know how late it is, but I imagine we'll have some dinner and start our day tomorrow. Still to deal with Christoph. So we got a bedroom upstairs. Looks like for a girl. And then another bedroom. Sabaka, it's a dog. And my L two little dogs that I own, Kristoff and Maxine. Oh. 
So here's the kitchen. Here's the beautiful bathroom. Maxim speaks. E. I'm a king. You're what? I'm a king. Whoa, Bolshoi Kravat. a big bed. Christoph, what is this weird this, looking house on uh, weird looking <laughs> something? Legs, I guess. This is a house of uh, Baba Yaga. And who is Baba Yaga? She's a Russian witch. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is she scary? Uh, no. And she lives in the swamps? Yeah. At the Maxime, Christoph? Baba no, Yaga got uh, you? The witch got you? No. Is she going to eat you? No. <laughs> so she lives in a swamp and her house is on, is like a tree house and... Yeah, it, it's like... They they now joke that they're, her house is on chicken legs just because yeah. it looks like chicken yeah. legs. Well, I guess she's a small witch. I think it's little for you. It is little for me. <laughs> I've got my witch's brew here instead of coffee. Yeah. Ah. So we drove here Friday night, stayed at this wonderful dacha, Russian country home, and the ladies are getting ready, and then we are going to go and pick some mushrooms. But check it out, just another beautiful spot in Russia. Uh, the family that owns this, it's just their second house. They come here uh, five or six or seven times a year and it's heated and it's just i mean what can you say it's obviously like paradise right what do you think Christoph? Huh? what do you think it's good the russian forest now on the other side of the house here they have a string of guest houses of course they're not as big and as beautiful as this country home here, the main house, but this is where your friends could stay if you have, I guess, like a shashlik barbecue. So it's just, you know, for the occasion when you'd have a big party here. And it's got heating. Of course, I stayed in the main house. I'm more than a guest. Just kidding. TV, and look, what Russian dacha authentic country home would not be complete without an outhouse. Looks like a very nice outhouse, actually. I grew up in a world where outhouses were rare. Apparently, I'm going to be seeing a lot of them in my life here in Russia. Let's see, what does the road look like? Okay, not bad for a country road. Does this look like a country road in your country? Those are big boots. I mean, they're tall. Yeah. You're scaring me. I'm thinking maybe my boots are not good enough if we need to wear something so tall. The police want to take you. You can jump in there. Hide from the police? Yeah. <laughs> what movies have you been watching? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Ok, 
Kato Eta. Eta Mayajana Eli Stitch. My wife's boots match her coat. She is fashionable, except for the hat. What is this? It said it is the restaurant of the birds. It's a tasty and a bird. A bird restaurant? I don't know, but it looks like some. Russians take some care of birds? birds? Wow. <laughs> How old is this house, Vera? I have no idea. Do you but think it's, it's like it, really, it, really old? Yeah, it looks old. It looks really old. And the, I think the roof is dipping down, but other than that, it's not, it's not like collapsing. Well, I think you can still live there if you're desperate. Well, someone's put a lock on it, so someone's using it for storage, it looks like. They say they swim here in the summer, and you know what, Floridians? No alligators or crocodiles. Tell us, what are we doing? We are going to pick up mushrooms. That's what all Russians do um, from August to October. Then there are a lot of mushrooms in the forest. So it's a lot of fun. You will see it. So it's an annual family event for Russians. Yes, yes. Where you just go out into the wild forest and you avoid bears and you pick mushrooms. Yes, you avoid bears. That's for sure. <laughs> and then you, you, and eat, foxes. you eat these mushrooms. Yes, you will cook them. Because I never heard of this tradition until I met you. Really? Yeah. No, it's very, very popular in Russia. We always do this. So much fun. All my childhood I was doing that. Looks like some sort of mushroom on this tree, but they're not picking it, so I assume. It's not something we prefer to eat. Look at all these plants. I think they're ferns, and they are starting to turn and change their color as we head into the fall. They're just everywhere here. I would like to show how to pick up the mushrooms. You take it off like a lamp, electrical lamp. Ah, like you this. unscrew it like a light oh, bulb. You see? you see, it is eaten. It is eaten by snails. 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 Yes. So snails have ruined that one? Yes, but uh, it's very clean, no worms, but snails uh, eaten a little bit. We can take a part of it, like this. Oh, so the stem is still good. Yes, yeah, stem is still wonderful. We have found our first mushroom. And we're walking in what feels like of spongy moss. A fairy tale style forest. Fairy tale style forest. And in Russia, uh, hunting for mushroom called quiet hunting. Oh, quiet hunting. Yeah. They have found our second mushroom. Will it be fresh? Twist it like a light bulb. Let's see it. Christoph, let's see it. It's very big and very good. I'm not an expert. It's <laughs> Maxim, Maxim, Maxim found the third mushroom. I've said it before, the forest here is different from the forest in Florida. The forest in Florida, in my opinion, can you see my eyes, is much thicker and it's hard to wander through. Um, but here, I think because the winters are so intense for the plant life, it thins it out. 
so you can have a more romantic wandering through the forest time. Not that it's not difficult, mind you. It still is a little bit difficult, but it's more possible. Kristoff is going to pull our fourth mushroom, and he's sharing with Stan, whose hat I'm wearing. You may recognize Stan and his wife from our other video. I guess I should have zipped up my boot before we came out here. Tell us about your typical Soviet girl mushroom picking childhood experience. <laughs> How did it usually go for you? So usually um, we get up at 5 a.m. to be ahead of the crowd, to be the first who will be in the forest to look for mushrooms. And we will take some food. We'll take a rucksack with a thermos of hot tea or coffee, some sandwiches. We will take some baskets. Конечники, как найду, положу. Да. And then we'll be just wandering around. Sometimes we'll even have to take a compass. Is it compass? It's called mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, compass yeah. with us. So you don't get lost? Not to be lost in the forest. Wow. Yes, because the forest can be so big, you can be easily lost. And you have to stay in a crowd, like you have to stay together, not to lose a person. If you lost someone like my dad or my brother, we'll be going, ow, ow, and we'll be looking for each other. <laughs> yeah. And your mom came too? Oh, all of us, like all four of us. Did friends also come or was it just family? Usually it's a family, but you can, um, sometimes you will get friends. It's like a lot today? Of fun. Like today, yeah, yeah. It's actually, I'm so excited because I haven't done it for maybe 15 years. So I'm happy to do it. Wow. Yeah, and it's so much fun. And the weather is great today. It's not cold. It's very warm, comfortable. The forest is so beautiful. There is fern. Well, we've been married for 10 years. And yes. I've heard about this. <laughs> yes. That this is, it took us 10 years for you to actually take me. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's just the right time. It's September. Right. Yeah, I guess we weren't here in September except right. for last year. We were in the winter or summertime. To heal itself. To heal, to heal yeah. itself. It's like a medicine for moose. So this is the orange ones, our moose uh, medicine? Mohamor, yes. Mohamor. This, this is the poison one. And the uh, mooses eat it to heal themselves. So some mushrooms are poisonous and poisonous. we should not eat them. Yeah. Yeah. This is the most famous poisonous one. Yeah. Wow, we might be able to make an omelet today. You're supposed to make uh, a yeah, potato mushrooms. mushroom soup or just potatoes it's soup, and mushrooms? It's fried mushrooms and fried potatoes together. Oh, okay. That's what you usually order in the restaurant, honey. Yeah, it's very tasty. Some salt, some pepper, some mm. oil, a little crispy. We Those found another. Crazy. We might see moose today. We might, we might. What about a bear? Well, people say that they um, they saw some bears in this, not in this forest, but in this area. So I hope we will not see a bear today. Можно красный это полезно. Молодец. So you found that yourself, the first one, at eight years old, in Russia, your first mushroom discovery. What's up, bud? Don't bite me. Wow, this is good. Good image. We're getting a lot of mushrooms now. I like the romantic mushroom baskets. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see any, a bunch of holes underneath it. Go ahead, Chris. I'll break it off. Why? You want me to? All right, stop. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, da. Tom, Tom. Oh, wow. 
Раз, да. потом у Кристофа там три штуки, и вон еще. Вон. Вау. Вон. Да, вон, 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 Собирайте. Да, мы здесь за собакой ходим. Можно, клади маску. Вот еще два. Да. Take my hat off for this. So I just realized the week that I'm filming this right now is one year of me filming my first five episodes for this channel. And I'll post it next week, which will be the one year of me posting uh, the first five videos for this channel. So this channel is now one year old and my wife has found another mushroom. And there's another one. So celebrate with us and share this video and like and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, and help us spread the word about the truth of Russia and help us make the world a better place. Moose ticks are bugs that want to bite moose and live off of moose. And what my group thinks is that because I'm the largest and wearing dark clothes, they're going to jump on me and see if I'm a moose or not. But they're not ticks in the traditional U.S. sense. They're just like spiders, Kristoff says. Что это, Maximus? Грибы? Очень круто. Wow. What are the Russians doing now? Now they're taking a break. It's called Prival. Yes. And you can take, uh, you can drink some tea and eat some snacks. So it's a break relax. in the middle yes. of your mushroom hunting? Yes, maybe for 15 minutes and then we can walk. Has this been a successful mushroom hunting day so far? Look at this basket. Oh, I think so. wow. Are they yummy? They will be yummy soon when we mm. fry them with potatoes. Will you cook them for me and yes. serve me yummy mushrooms and potatoes? Yes. Russian style. Oh, Kristoff is. Kristoff, what are you eating? Looks like we have succeeded. Check it out. Incredible. So romantic. Yeah. And so much like a fairy tale. Yeah. Wandering around here. We saw a snake. Well, I didn't. But they say they saw one. Now it's gone. Show Eta! Bolshoi Gribi, big mushroom. Thanks, Max. Kristoff? Yeah. Tell the world, how was your first ever mushroom hunting experience in mm -hmm. Russia? Very good. Was it scary? No. No? Are you excited to eat these mushrooms? Yeah. Are you having the correct cultural experience? Uh, yes. As you mature through your childhood years? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Does this look like your tiny grocery store? I see this a lot. This is like classical Russian pastry boxes that you can buy. All these baked goods and bags, I guess, were made fresh somewhere. Look at this giant can of pickles. It's got fresh fish and sausage and marinated meat. Americans, do you see any of your beer here? I'm starting to forget what is available in Russia and what is available in America. So we are back from the forest with our 
spoils from the Russian woods, our greebie, our mushrooms. And like I said, don't forget to celebrate with us this one year anniversary of this show. It's been so much fun and so creative and so fulfilling um, to make great videos and have a positive impact on the world. And, um, you know, it's easy for me to forget. I, there's other channels I watch and then I'm like, oh, wait, I've watched it all this time. I never subscribed. So double check that you're subscribed and you're liking stuff and, and you're, you know, for me, share as many videos as you can. And hopefully soon the ladies will chop this up for us and make us a wonderful feast. Um, and the last thing I'd like to say on this is just remember that this show must have viewer support. Um, it's, it's a full-time job and not full-time pay. There's lots of links in the description below. Um, maybe one of those will work for you if there's a way for you to support us in some way. And keep watching. <laughs> Максим не может пока. Максим, подожди, Максимочка, зайка. Не, не, не. Сейчас пошел отдыхать, да? Он в гамаке лежит, да. А зачем их накрыть? А мы их моем чуть-чуть и потом только Это только вода? Да, потом варить. What is this? It's fire? No kidding. Maxim, что это? I'm getting more Russian barbecue shashlik and look at the landscape as the sun sets through the forest and check out the holiday lights and the barn style house and my rock star looking hair that I just noticed. I, apparently I napped a little bit in the hammock and it's still messed up. I got my mushrooms, my greebie. How fantastic to get three baskets full of food. I didn't buy it, I didn't steal it, I didn't grow it. I just walked through the forest and here it is. So, what did you think of this experience? Was it your first time? It was mine. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, click the share button right now, interrupt my speech and send this to your friends, and click the box to see what happens next. Um, um, forest food. This is game Chick, 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 chick,
Это неправильно, все-таки, рецепты. Mm -hmm.